What's going on guys? Bringing you another video from my office here in North Carolina. If you're a deer hunter, especially an archery hunter out there, I'm sure you've thought once or twice about fixed versus mechanical broadheads. Well, in this video today, we're going to talk about that. Maybe give you some key pointers on which one to use this year. Let's jump on into it. All right, so fixed versus mechanical, the age old question. Well, part of the problem today is the fact that not only are we trying to decide fixed versus mechanical, but we're trying to decide whether we need to shoot a single bevel, cut on contact, two blade broadhead that has a one inch cut, or a three blade, three and a half inch cut mechanical broadhead there's not really anybody talking about the middle ground which is a lot of what i talk about in my videos there's a happy medium between both of them i'm not going to mention the names guys but there's a couple or there's a group of guys i love watching their content they are awesome dudes but they have jumped on the ranch ferry train and just from my overview just from the content that i've seen in the last couple years Ever since they jumped on the ranch ferry train of the heavy arrows and the single bevel, uh, small broadheads, ever since they did that, it seems like they have been wounding a lot more animals. Now, that may be completely wrong. It's just what it seems like to me. Where I'm going with that is not to bash anybody else's setup. It's just the fact that, in my personal opinion, there is a happy medium for what broadhead that I would recommend you shooting for whitetails. So let's just go ahead and talk about my two setups for hunting whitetail deer. And I'm going to pull them both out of the quiver right now. So if you'll notice, they were both in my quiver. One is a fixed blade and one is an expandable. Now, like I say, there's a happy medium, guys. I prefer, just from my experience, I prefer on the fixed blade side a three blade broadhead i don't like at least for a compound setup we're talking compound setups i'll get into my traditional bow setup here in a minute but for a compound setup under most circumstances people are shooting plenty enough weight and plenty enough kinetic energy to shoot a three blade fixed blade sharp broadhead like this q80 exodus with plenty enough authority to get through a whitetail deer we're not talking about elk, we're not talking about moose, we're talking about a whitetail deer, even big whitetail deer. I know a lot of hunters that are shooting a decent little fixed blade broadhead that are punching right through big deer with a little bit of weight. Now, if you're somebody that's shooting quite a bit of kinetic energy, like this current setup that I'm shooting is around 80.3 foot pounds of kinetic energy, if you're shooting a setup like that with a decently a decently heavy arrow, something in that mid range, like I recommend, like that mine's a 430 grain arrow. I can't speak highly enough about the G5 Megameets. It's a two inch, three blade mechanical broadhead that is sharp and it penetrates extremely well. No, they're not as durable as a fixed blade. No, they're not going to punch through heavy bone as good as a fixed blade. You're probably going to break some blades off. With that being said, my go-to this year will be this expandable followed by a good fixed blade in this QAD Exodus. Guys, I can't speak highly enough about the QADs. They outperform a lot of different broadheads. They're twice their price. They're durable. They're sharp. I can't speak highly enough about them. The only reason why I am going to shoot an expandable broadhead, for the most part, on deer, 
is because the setup that I'm shooting is pushing plenty of energy to push through any deer from 300 pounds all the way down to a hundred pound doe with no issues barring that I make a decent shot. I am not one that is known for hitting shoulders. If you generally speaking have a tendency to hug tight to a shoulder and you have a bad problem with hitting that thick center shoulder bone, I would really steer you away from a mechanical and I would steer you more towards this Q80 Exodus. Now, if you center punch that center shoulder joint, you're still probably not gonna find that deer unless you get very lucky or it's a very close shot where you still get enough penetration to get into either the heart or a lung. But one thing that you do stand a better chance of is if you get a glancing blow off of say one blade into that bone, I do feel like you're still gonna get enough penetration with this sharp fixed blade, whereas this mechanical, it may wedge it in there and it may take enough of the kinetic energy out of the impact to where this broadhead just doesn't penetrate very well through that animal. One thing I will say guys, from experience, a big cutting uh, expandable broadhead that's built well will help cover up some of your bad shots. I made a really bad shot on a doe last year with this expandable because of the, the broadhead that I shot, which was the mega meat. I ended up finding that doe. She was in bad shape, ended up having to follow up and uh, take the doe out the rest of the way. She wasn't quite dead when we found her. But if I had been shooting something significantly smaller, uh, the broadheads that I had been shooting in the past, which I had some issues with last year, I probably wouldn't have found that doe. So I do think there is a little bit of truth to the fact that a big expandable broadhead does help you in a, a situation where you made a bad shot. So what do I recommend, fixed or expandable? If you're shooting enough weight, if you're shooting what I would recommend, if you're shooting over uh, 60 foot pounds of kinetic energy, you can pretty much shoot whatever you want to at deer. I'm just gonna say it, whatever you want to, within reason, within a certain distance, with, with a decent setup, 60 foot pounds of kinetic energy or more, I wouldn't worry too much about your broadhead setup. I would focus on being accurate. If you're accurate and you're within reason on your broadhead, I'm not, you're not trying to shove a two by four through a deer, you'll be just fine. Deer are not big animals. Even a 300 pound deer is not that hard of an animal to get an arrow through. Now, if you're shooting less than 60 foot pounds, down to 50 foot pounds of kinetic energy, I would recommend shooting something. If you do want to shoot an expandable, I wouldn't shoot anything bigger than like a say inch and a half expandable, preferably a two blade, maybe something like a Sever 1.5 or maybe even their hybrid with the bleeders. You can get away with shooting something smaller. I would probably go, if you're going to shoot on the three blade side, I would say something like the dead meat, which is an inch and a half three blade. If you're somebody that's under that 50 pound kinetic energy, or if you're somebody like myself that's going to hunt with a longbow this year, I would steer you towards something like the three blade Q80 Exodus, uh, especially on a compound side. I prefer a three blade. Shooting a longbow or a trad bow in general, I do think that there's something to the two blade broadhead with bleeders. This is a sting, uh, Magnus Stinger buzz cut. 150 grain um, broadhead. One thing about these is they have that three to one length to cut rate or width ratio. So if you get some of those little weird angles or whatever, that broadhead's still gonna penetrate. It's not gonna deflect. Um, and they do penetrate extremely well. They're not gonna leave quite as good of a blood trail in most situations as something like a three blade mechanical wheel, or I'm sorry, a three blade fixed wheel. But I, Honestly, I think I could shoot the Q80 Exodus, and I think I probably would if they made a heavier broadhead. All they make in that is a 125. I wanted to shoot 150s, so in my setup, this arrow weighs 585 grains, and it still puts me around that 50 foot-pounds of kinetic energy uh, margin area, and I'm shooting 25 yards and under, so I'm not having to try to maintain penetration out there at greater distances. So just keep that in mind, guys. These are three broadheads that I, I highly recommend. I got the Magnus on my longbow, 
Got the Q80 Exodus and the G5 Mega Meat. As you can see, I'm not sponsored by any broadhead companies. I'm not affiliated with any broadhead companies. I'm only shooting what I believe in. And these are the setups that I'm gonna be carrying into the deer woods this year. Like I said, on the compound side, I'm gonna be shooting the Mega Meats uh, first, Q80 Exodus second, and then on the longbow trad side, I'm shooting the Magnus uh, two blade with a bleeder, 150 grain. One thing I will say on my whitetail setups, I'm shooting 125 grain, not a 100. Most cases, your 125s, the blades are not different. The cutting diameter is not different. The ferrule is more beefy. That's where they get that additional weight in most situations. Q80 Exodus for sure is just a beefier center post as well as the Mega Meat. And I like to shoot as beefy, durable of a broadhead as I can within reason. Like I always say, there's a happy medium. So continuing on with the Bible verses, guys. This one is for all you lady hunters out there that watch the channel, which I don't know if there's that many. Uh, but if you're a lady hunter out there, this one is for you. Uh, this one is coming out of Titus. Titus 2, verse 3 and 4. For you men out there, verse 2 is for you, but I'm not going to read that one. This is for the ladies. The aged, So verse 3, the aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given too much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, and then so on. It continues on uh, for some women. But those are two Bible verses that I thought were really significant because we are teaching the next generation, guys. My wife and I just had a daughter. She's 14 months old, and it kind of hits home to us because I see every day how my daughter mirrors what my wife does and how good of a person my wife is. So that one's for you women hunters out there that watch the channel. Hopefully you got something out of this video. Please like and subscribe. Please continue to, supporting, to support the channel if you like what I'm doing. Comment down below and let me know what your whitetail hunting setup is this year. I'd be very interested to see. I always like to see what the new stuff is out there and what everybody's still shooting for you guys that have been shooting the same setup for years. Let's hear what you're shooting this year. Good luck out there in the deer woods this fall. Remember to live your life to the fullest. Use your passions to bless others. We'll catch you on the next video.